Good morning, everybody. It is uh, December 26th. Day after Christmas. Excuse me. Give me one second. I gotta mute my TV. I don't know if that was interrupting you guys, but it's kind of hard to think when I got a TV on. Uh, yeah, it's December 26th. It's the day after Christmas. I'm in Hagerstown, Maryland. And uh, we're getting ready to roll to New Oxford, Pennsylvania. We got to make a delivery this morning. Uh, I picked up this load last Friday. And, uh, of course, we were going to pick up another load, you know, and drop this at the yard. And nothing worked out right. But uh, I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. Uh, probably the best Christmas present I had was two things. One, Ed bought me dinner. Two nights. Thank you for the dinner. It was good. And two, uh, Great White bought me dinner. So there's three dinners. <laughs> I got fed good this uh, holiday. And it's, it's almost like going to your mom and dad's for Thanksgiving, then you go to grandma's for Thanksgiving, and then a friend invites you for Thanksgiving, I mean Christmas. I got Thanksgiving on one. But it's like three different people or families inviting you uh, for dinner. So, but uh, Ed bought me two dinners and Great White, they bought me a dinner. Uh, I gotta turn the receipt in to Great White though. But, uh, that's fine, up to $25. You can eat a lot of food for $25. Oh, but, um, but my second, uh, uh or third, uh, Christmas present was this particular load right here. I got to take a break, and it wasn't really a 34-hour break, because you have to work seven days. You have to be seven days before you can take a 34, but I got a uh, a pretty good rest uh, what y'all I think you all know I was sick a little bit and that so I was able to and then I got feeling good I actually went to a doctor and, or found a clinic that I can get into you know I was able to park the truck at the truck stop and uh, I paid a few dollars but there was a clinic not too far away so I took a cab I left Pooh Bear in the truck and I and they gave me a shot and uh, I told them straight up, I, I said, I drive a truck, so I can't really take anything that's going to make me go lo loony, you know. Uh, and he understood, so. But he gave me a shot, and I, I feel pretty good now. I still got the sniffles, though. But I, 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 it's not like it was. But uh, we're in Hagerstown, Maryland this morning. We're going to deliver in New Oxford. This will be... Uh, trip one day one and being that we're going to deliver this load it will be the only blog on this load my next load will be trip two and then it, if it takes three days to deliver then it's going to have three three blogs on that one day but uh, my videos this year will be hopefully better and uh, I get more viewers and more subscribers it's easy, all you gotta do is click subscribe. That's what you gotta do. Well, I am up to 13. Let's hope that number grows by the end of 2014. <laughs> but with that being said, um, I'm gonna probably mix this one with, uh, oh, I will, uh, with the, with the uh, delivery and then my pickup. So trip one and trip two will be kind of side by side on one video and I'll title it that way trip one and trip two and then trip two I'm not going to release these videos until uh, uh, 2014 so I'll be at, uh, a week ahead of myself uh, excuse me I'm burping I had coffee this morning <laughs> but um, anyway um, I'll keep you guys up and uh, Talk to you guys later. 
Alrighty, we left the truck stop there in Hagerstown. This is I uh, I eighty one I seventy. Over to New Oxford. That's my GPS. That's talking to me. Keep to the right on exit four by seventy, and then keep to the left at zero point two miles. I got a challenge for everybody out there. I need to come up with a name. Seven hundred feet. The left on I-70 East, and then, slide right in 0.3 miles. See, most definitely... The left on I-70 East, and then, slide right in 0.3 miles. I might as well wait till she's done, because she's going to keep interrupting me, see? I-70 East, and then, keep to the left in 0.3 miles. Keep to the left on I-70 East, and then, slide right in 0.3 miles. Listen to her! She just keeps yakking. She doesn't stop. In one quarter mile, keep to the left on I-70 East. I don't know why she's actually doing that. Let's... Okay. Anyway, now I think she's done talking now. I think. But we need to come up with a name. I want to call her something. But we can't call her Mandy because that's trucker job. I thought she was done. But we can't call her Mandy because trucker Josh, he has a blog out here himself. Uh, go check him out, Trucker Josh, his YouTube. Um, but he named his Mandy, so I can't name mine Mandy because uh, I don't want uh, to copy. Continue on this road for 22 miles. But I gotta come up with a name for her. So if you guys can come up with a name, just put it down in the comments below. Let's come up with a name for her, okay? It's a female voice, so it, it's got to be a female. It's got to be, it, 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 it's got to be clean. It's got to be uh, appropriate because whatever name I pick out of all the names that you guys give me, that's the name that we're going to use. And uh, if I use your name on the blog, I will mention you on the video. I'll, I'll let everybody know who picked her name out for me. But anyway, we got to take this to uh, 15, US 15, which is down here in Fidrick, Fidrick Town, something, something like that. Maryland, and then we got to go north on 15 to 30, Highway 30 or Lincoln Highway, and that will take me to New Oxford, that will take me to my uh, uh, delivery, but it's kind of, it's dark yet, it's early. Very early. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. And the reason why it's so early. Now my appointment's not till 
I'm a cold blooded or hot blooded or whatever you call that. I'm hot blooded, that's it. The cold doesn't really bother me, but the heat, when it's 80 degrees, 90 degrees, I melt. I melt. They just don't make air conditioning in any vehicle cold enough for me. And then, when I did have my apartment and I had a, a, an air conditioning in the window, people would come over and say, oh, it's cold in here. But it was comfortable to me. But I like it when it's kind of cool or cold. Because it's easier to, to bundle up and to get warm than it is to, you can only take off so many clothes, right? Well, we're in Pennsylvania now, we just crossed. In about 20 miles, I'll be at my delivery. Now we are now on US 30. I took that ramp back there and it was a little slick. Trailer wanted to do whole kinds of dancing on that ramp. But we kept it controlled. I'm a professional driver. You gotta know what your limits are, you gotta know how fast you can drive, and you gotta be smart about it. You're gonna drive like an idiot, you're gonna be in the ditch. You drive with some smarts. You're not going to be in the ditch. You just got to use your brain. I'll see you guys when we get to the customer. Well, we are at the customer. We are in the dock. Now we're just waiting to get unloaded. What do you say about that, Pooh Bear? You don't know what to think. He has no clue what to do. He has no clue what to do. But I think... Tell him what you think. Now, you, you see what I'm doing? That's why I said my videos are going to be better this year. I have cameras outside. I have cameras underneath the truck. I got cameras everywhere. So my next year's vlogs are going to be all oh, supreme. Well, hey, Pooh Bear. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> I didn't say you down. I said say hi to everybody.
see that's how I do it um I use this camera this camera is mainly for you know and the GoPro is mainly for the dash and let me show you guys something see this little camera this is my outdoor camera I got two of these one will actually I can put this anywhere on the truck it's got a clip clip it anywhere I can put it on the uh, step I can put it underneath the truck I can put it on the ICC bumper I can put this camera anywhere it's wireless so I can get different uh, views plus I got the GoPro the GoPro is my main dash camera that's what points outside or points at me I got this camera and I got this camera that camera that's not even speaking cell phone <laughs> that thing's got a camera too so I'm going to make you guys the best vlogs I can. And uh, I'm going to go out of my way. I'm going to really make them great. So, Anyway, with that being said, I'll let you guys know where we're going next. Now, this is the end of my trip one. This is the end of... Uh, I picked this load up in Florida. And I delivered it in New Oxford, PA. I'm in the dock. So we're being unloaded right now. Uh, so my next trip will be trip two. So we'll see where we're going next. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Tell them what you think. Now you, you see what I'm doing? That's why I said my videos are going to be better this year. I have cameras outside. I have cameras underneath the truck. I got cameras everywhere. So my next year's vlogs are going to be oh, supreme. Well, hey, Pooh Bear, say hi to everybody. <laughs> I didn't say you down. I said say hi to everybody. Well, see, I'm in the dock. And if you guys are ever curious, there's my GoPro. See that light blinking? Hello, we're being recorded. <laughs> and, and Pooh Bear, he's barking. Yeah. Oh, are you saying hi to everybody? He's saying hi to everybody. Say hi. <laughs> Did you have a good Christmas? Tell him I bought you. What? Hey. He's not gonna let me talk. Tell him I bought you. I bought him a steak. I bought him a T-bone steak for Christmas. And he gnawed on that thing and gnawed on that thing. He ate that thing. <laughs> he was licking his lips, saying that was good. Hey, Pooh Bear, did you like that steak? He's not camera shy. And he's feeling good today. Look at the snow, guys. It's snowing. It's snowing pretty good. We'll let you guys know when we leave this place. Alrighty, we are empty. Eh, I just called dispatch and they ain't got nothing for me right now. So, we are headed to a truck stop about 12 miles from here. And I guess we're just going to sit back and wait there. Hopefully they find me something soon. It's getting to be a regular thing, set and wait. They knew I was going to deliver this load this morning. I'm surprised they ain't found something for me. Turn but, back I, on. US 30. but they will. I just hope it doesn't take all day. I started about, well, I was an hour away from my delivery. I've already started my logbook for today. Every minute.
it that they wait or make me wait. That's my 14 hour clock doesn't stop. I'll let you guys know what happens. Oh, I just got done eating breakfast. Oh, I'm at a truck stop. If you will call it a truck stop. Uh, gas, diesel. See? Would you call this a truck stop? <laughs> there, there, there ain't much out there. <laughs> there ain't much out there. Oh, my boss told me to call him at 10 30. <laughs> I gave him a call and then he says, you got 30 seconds, you asked me to call you, oh yeah, <laughs> but he was just telling me the circumstances, I don't know if I'm going to get a load or not today, uh, it's up in the, uh, up in the air right now, um, I'm to let him know if I do get one, but we'll, we'll let him know. Now it's like working for a corporate or for a company. I remember the years when I drove for J.B. Hunt and driving for Ganey. You'd be in competition with other drivers and whoever got unloaded first, then it went in order and then you got dispatched as you got. So I'm not sure how many drivers that our dispatcher has, but I'm waiting. They kind of knew about I was going to be empty this morning, so I'm kind of, I mean, I picked up this load, the, the last load, I picked it up on Friday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, at six days. I'm surprised they couldn't find anything for Thursday after I delivered. I'm one truck, one driver. They don't have to break a leg to find me something. I'm not saying they don't do a good job, but they don't have to break their leg to find me something. So I'm sitting here and I'm waiting for something to do. But I did have a, a good breakfast. Beef, chip, gravy on toast with eggs and potatoes. And it was so good I ate that, then I asked for another, another order. Yeah, I ate two orders. <laughs> Anyway, I'll let you guys know what's going on. I don't know if this is going to be the end of my day or if I'm going to go pick up something, but I'll let you guys know. Well, we do have a load to go get. We got to go to Carlisle. Carlisle. C A R L I S L E. Carlisle, that's how I pronounce it. Turn left on UF 15BR and then take the entrance to the left at 300 feet. Pennsylvania. And that load is going to Jacksonville, Florida for 1 o'clock p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Turn left on UF 15BR and, and then take will, the entrance to the left at 200 feet. And we will be there on time. There's my load info right now. That whistle that you hear, that's my that's my load info for my next run. That's got my pickup numbers and everything. Everything I need in order to get that load. I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, we are loaded. And we are headed out to Jacksonville, Florida. I have, uh, it's uh, 1.52 in the afternoon. I got to 5 o'clock to roll this truck. Continue on we this road, miles. We'll get it, give it all we've got for the next three hours. 
right here gonna get back in see we'll be going in there to get the skill kick so we got to park off the scale we got to park off the scale so we'll go into the fuel island because I, I know I'm gonna get fuel I just but I want to go in and get my uh, skill ticket first because uh, I, I want to make sure what my weight is before I put any fuel in. I mean, if I'm overweight because of the freight and I've only got a quarter of a tank, then they got to fix it. If I'm overweight because I filled my tanks up, it's eight pounds per gallon. So a hundred gallon is eight hundred pounds, and it's my fault because I could have probably put sixty gallons in, or I could have probably put fifty gallons in. Yes, I would have. To, I would have to stop more often to get fuel, but I would be overweight. Go inside, get our scale ticket, see what our weight is, and then pump our fuel. And with that being said, I'll be right back. Okay, this is why I scaled. Now you see that I'm 11,580 on my steer. 30,480 on my drives, 34,540 on my trailer, 76,660 or 600 gross. Now, 
which one am I over on? The trailer, 34540. I moved it back four holes. 250 per hole, and I moved it back four. So that put me about 33,000, roughly I'm gonna say about 33,000 60 pounds or something like that so we're good i want i want most of the weight i want most of the weight on the trailer because it's a lease trailer keep the weight off the uh, tractor off the tires on the tractor but this it belongs to ed so say the wear and tear on the tractor put it on the trailer it's a lease trailer so if i blow a tire on the trailer i can call the leaser and say I need a tire sounds much better than calling Ed Ed I just blew a tire why did you blow a tire because I'm 34,000 pounds I wouldn't even like that you know it's like why do you have 30,000 on your trailer and 34 on the truck uh, switch it around you know put 34 on the trailer put 30 on the truck that way you don't put the wear and tear on the truck that being said, I'm going to go fuel now, and then we'll go. I, I'm, I don't have to re-weigh it, because I, I know what I did was right. So. But I'm going to go ahead and fuel, and we'll be on the road again.
pounds on my steer. That's because I got fuel, but I'm legal. But I'm heavy, so they may put me on the scale just to double check. We'll find out. across this platform right here now they're going to tell me what to do up here right in the middle so I know I can go either way ah bypass holy cow thank you Mr. DOT I don't know if you guys can see that because of that sun but
That means we can keep going. <coughs> I don't know why it did it here and didn't do it on the first one. I figured the first one they would want to weigh me. I hit them platforms right, so... I guess they just wanted a closer look. But that's a Virginia skill. Chicken coop, remember? <laughs> it's a chicken coop. out the load tomorrow and my savannah load will be uh, trip three day one so it looks like trip two and three tomorrow will actually merge onto the on, on the same video so not trying to confuse you all but that way I know how many blogs I did at the end of the year and you guys know how many blogs also I used to go by title, now I go by trip and days. And I learned that from a few of the other uh, uh, blogs out there. Uh, there's a couple of them I like, Trucker Josh, he's got his, check him out. I, I, I mean, he's really why I'm doing what I'm doing, because I love, I love his videos, you know. And then, there's a... Uh, Uh, truck I'm uh, trying to think what his is called uh, I tell you hold on I got a king to look um, big 
uh, Big Rig Talk. I like him too. Uh, now he's a well, they're both Canadian, but Trucker Josh, he is he does uh, Canada and the United States. And Big Rig Talk, he, he he's pretty, he stays up in Canada. But uh, Trucker Josh is the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I like doing it. I asked him to be my mentor on this, but never got a response. I guess I'm going to have to write him and actually send it to him. But, uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to go inside the truck stop and get something to eat. I'll talk to you guys later.